Hello there guys, today I'm introducing you to a game that goes by the name of Drift Moon. It's an adventure slash RPG game set in a unique world where the plot starts off with you being summoned by your father because of some dark secret that he has. Then your mom pushes you into a well and when you wake up the next day and manage to climb your way out of that well, everyone in your village has been turned to stone and apparently your father has been kidnapped. Yeah. From there, there's a lot of puzzle solving involving lots of point and click style using of different items to solve different problems and a lot of figuring stuff out in a pretty old school way. Well, by old school, I don't really mean much except for the fact that you actually have to read some stuff. From the very beginning, there's plenty of notes and books that you need to read to figure out what's happened and what you need to do. Lots of it's optional, but some of it is not. The story develops more and more, and so far I've just been kind of figuring out what my father, who seems to be some kind of alchemist slash magician, was doing before the story started. And he was dabbling in some pretty dark stuff that I won't spoil, but it's pretty interesting, and leads to some combat situations. Now, the game basically, as it's a mix between RPG and adventure game, recommends you play different difficulties based on how you like to play. The first two difficulty modes are recommended if you want to play in a more adventure game style without having to worry about dying too much, but if you're more of a hardcore RPG player and want to worry about strategy and building your character to do combat well, then you're going to want to pick one of the harder difficulties. I'm just playing on normal. The controls of the game are pretty simple and pretty elegant. It's mainly just move around with either the keyboard or your mouse, you can move with the mouse as well, and then pretty much everything else is point and click style, and you just use your mouse to control. Various objects can be dragged around, and most things to do with items is just one button clicking, including picking up items and inventory management. It's really simple and easy to get the hang of. The crafting system is simple as well. You find recipes in the world and then you basically just click on the recipe and if you have the right ingredients available, then you'll make the item. All kinds of items are available, some being more on the generic side and some not. There's potions, antidotes, things like that. There's some nice powders that you can use to speed yourself up temporarily, which can help both in just getting around the world quicker and in getting away from a tricky combat situation. So, as the controls don't get in the way at all, and combat only gets in the way if you wanted to, there's plenty of room for the puzzle solving and for the plot. Which I'm liking so far, it's one part interesting, one part cheese, with some nice humor sprinkled in, here and there. The characters are wacky, but good so far. The world that this whole thing's taking place in is a world where animals can talk, so you never really know what's a friend or a foe. The footage of this video has been of the first little area. The areas so far are basically just semi-linear, small areas that you can fast travel between, and the couple I've been to so far are pretty varied and introduce new things all the time. From what I've seen of the game so far, I'd recommend it to anyone looking for a pretty light adventure slash RPG experience. Both fans of the point and click genre and the RPG will definitely enjoy Moondrift. At least from a first impression standpoint, you can never really tell with games like this that tend to be slightly on the longer side. That's about all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Maple Dungeons, and I will see you next time.